We welcome you back to the 9 a.m. talking trending topics with Joe Mullitzer this morning and hummingbirds. Yep, hummingbirds. Yeah, it's trending. Yeah, it yeah. is. Um, it's because the real question is, do you have your hummingbird feeder out yet? And I said, no, but I don't have one. I need to get one. You might need to yeah. because uh, if you don't have one, then the hummingbirds don't know where to go and they won't come back the next okay. year. So you got, it's, it's a catch-22 really <laughs> with that hummingbird <laughs> feeder. But um, every year, uh, a lot of our fans on Facebook track the migration of the hummingbirds up from South America through um, Mexico and up through the southern United States. And they have finally made their way to Missouri. And so you're going to want to have that feeder out with the, uh, the it's a uh, sugary type water yeah. that you put in there uh -huh. That's what um, like. to, to keep them coming back. And, um, and you can really track the progress. We've got an interactive map on our website on foxnet.com uh, that people put in their reports. And if you want to go to like sites like um, Hummingbird Central, mm -hmm. um, you can go and submit your report if you see one. Because we were seeing, uh, people were looking in the sky during the eclipse and they were sending us pictures of hummingbirds too. And so. Okay. Yeah. That's kind of cool. <laughs> it is really I like neat. that. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, so moving on to other things, <laughs> I, I'm telling you about our top trending topics, yes. and so we're going to talk about a way different topic, but one that a lot of people want to hear about. Okay. It's about a, a class action settlement for $45 million at Walmart. Oh boy. Um, Walmart um, overcharged for some weighted groceries and bagged food, fruit, and anyone who bought certain meat, seafood, and citrus from Walmart from 2000 from October. 19th, 2018 to January 19th, 2024 is eligible. So that's oh. like five years or oh. six years. Of I might be able to dig up one of those receipts. <laughs> yeah. So How much um, am I going to get, Joe? Well, if you don't have a receipt, you <laughs> okay. can get uh, 10 to $25. What if I do? If you do, you can get up to $500. What? Yeah. Yeah. So it might be worth your time to go to foxynow.com, look yeah. at the quick link section, okay. fill out the form, just make, you know, Ask yourself, did I buy wa uh, groceries from Walmart? Mm -hmm. Most people have, as they're the number right. one grocer, grocer yeah. in the U.S. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a it's good good thing to do. And, and I sometimes put into email me my receipt and print it, so yeah. I know I have yeah. some. Yeah, get it. Look yeah. at yeah, search in that Gmail. Okay. Yeah, and then we got one more thing. Another way to save you money, or uh, or yeah, um, you got to do this by April 30th. Okay. If you want loan forgiveness, if you have those student loans mm -hmm. that are a lot of those are being forgiven. Uh, we got 45 billion of them that were forgiven for almost a million followers yeah. or <laughs> borrowers um, doing my social media yeah. stuff. Um, but in order to get that, a lot of your uh, types of loans like your Perkins, Heal, and the Parent Plus need to be consolidated. And so a lot of the information to do that is on studentaid.gov mm -hmm. on how to consolidate them. There's also a lot of a whole lot of services that can help you out with that. Oh, yeah. But they have, that has to be done uh, pretty soon here by um, April 30th. All right, April so. 30th. And that, that's big money there. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's some big money. All yeah. right, Joe, thank you so much. Anytime. We appreciate it. We'll take a break and be back.